T-Sheets, another of my three time tracking apps reviewed here on the Fundira Ledger. T-Sheets has been around for quite a while and they kind of took the time tracking market by storm some years back when they got started and I got the uh, opportunity to meet these people early on. It's an amazing team. Uh, you, you won't believe the energy these guys bring to time tracking. They've made time tracking sexy. They were the first ones to do it. And uh, what can I say? It's a solid company. It's a solid application. Let's come on and take a look at my screen. I'll show you what it looks like so you can see what I'm talking about for yourself. And again, let's take a look at the clocking in and clocking out process. And again, it's all about the mobile app. So over here, you can see I've got my options pretty well laid out, right? We're going to clock in for world domination. It's going to be billable. Um, I've chosen in my preferences on T-Sheets to uh, enforce classes, so it has to go to a class. And uh, <clears throat> then we have the service item here, media or content production, right? And, and we're going to clock in. And now I'm clocked in. And now if I go over to, uh, well, before I go over to the web app, you know, take a look. Uh, notice here we do have the switch option uh, and clock out. So really easy to switch over to uh, a new uh, job or a new, or we maybe want to choose a different service item. Maybe I want to decide that um, I'm done doing the uh, media part and now I need to switch to, you know, some other function, right? So the first thing we actually need to do here is, and uh, it seems I lost my connection. Let's try that again. Okay, perfect. So what I'll need to do is I'll say switch. And then over here it says, okay, what do we want? Same customer, same everything. I just, now I'm done doing media. Now we're going to do some, uh, some accounting services, right? So I just want to change that and then hit save. And it says switch. It confirms I've switched, right? Now let's go over to the web app. And the web app notice shows that I'm clocked in for a minute 12. It shows here who's working, right? That's here also. And there is a place to go see the map of where people are who are working right there you click where it says map funny how that works and now i can get again a real-time live map of who's working and where they are so i can make sure that when people clock in they really are where they say they are where they're supposed to be so that's pretty cool um, notice T-Sheets interface, we kind of have these little cards that appear on the screen. You can close them so you can make room for whatever it is you want to be looking at. Let's take a look at the setup and integration of T-Sheets. So up here where it says QuickBooks, it says that because I've already connected it to my QuickBooks online company. Let's go into preferences and have a look. There's one thing I mentioned in the write-up, I'm going to mention it here, that you absolutely want to make sure that you're aware of and that you've got the right thing checked off here which is this option right here, import vendors as employees. Now I've had this in place for a while, so I'm assuming nothing's changed. And if I'm correct, then this is not checked off by default. It's something you're going to want to check off to make sure that if you have subcontractors who are in your QuickBooks company as a vendor, that they can be brought in. And it's, it's saying import vendors as employees, essentially meaning they can be a T-Sheets user now who can track their time so that you can use their time to bill it back to clients and or uh, pay them. So uh, that's important. That's one of the most important things uh, that you might need to know when you're getting things set up, especially with respect to your integration. The rest of it's pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, you're going to want your customers and jobs so you can know who's, who they're clocking in for. Your service items, you want to give them the billable choice, right? You can require them, them to choose something for billable, either yes or no. And over here is where I've got the class checked off so that that is in fact required. I can uncheck it, right? Or I can check it. Depends on what I want. So, um, this is important. You want to go through the slowly, go through your setup slowly, which brings me up to, you know, the next part, which is, well, you know, setup. So, over setup, uh, for setup, we're going to go over to the setup area, right? Let's go to the company settings, right? These are important. So, we have some general stuff. Uh, subscription and payments, so you can look at your uh, support plan, or your support plan, your 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 uh, subscription plan with T-Sheets and, and what you need to pay them each month. It's got the uh, subdomain for where people go to log in when they're logging in to clock their time. Uh, important stuff. We'll go to advanced next. And again, when you're first getting T-Sheets set up, first of all, the company's amazing. We'll talk about their support later. They'll get you onboarded and they'll walk you through whatever you need to. But it's something you should be aware of. You're going to want to go through here. 
You have your time options, um, whether or not you want to allow employees to edit past notes and things, make notes required so that they have to comment and explain what they did during the time. Uh, here's where you set up your overtime rules, right? Overtime is after 40 hours a week, eight hours a day, double time after 12. And then if you're in California, you may wind up wanting to check off this guy right here that says California overtime rules and boom, it just sets it all up for me. Uh, payroll options, payroll schedule, uh, user options. You know, there's a lot to go through here and you should take the time to go through it to make sure that everything is set up exactly the way you like it. And you can establish mobile and email reminders for people to remind them to clock in, right? At 8 a.m., maybe an hour before if they're normally clocking in by nine just so they don't forget. Um, we have security choices. You know, again, there's a, there's a lot to go through in here. As far as creating jobs or customers, right, manage customers, um, you can get to your customer list from here. And of course, when you go to your time card and you go to clock in, that list is here and you can do a quick search so you can quickly clock in for whichever customer you're looking for. What you don't want to do is you don't want to ever click this add customer option if you're integrated with QuickBooks, even if you try to you're gonna get this warning that lets you know this will not sync to QuickBooks. So if you want to add a customer in, in T-Sheets, you can't do it in T-Sheets, you have to do it in QuickBooks, and then you just choose this import option so it quickly brings it over, and that way that customer will be available for people to choose when they're clocking in and entering their time. So that's really important to note. Uh, tasks or service items, back to T-Sheets. Um, so tasks or service items, we're gonna go into uh, this always takes me a second to uh, find on here. Um, advanced tracking is where you want to go, and there you'll find uh, for service items. But before you even get there, you'll find options here where you can, uh, you know, you have the uh, billable field name. You have uh, two items, right? Drop down list. It's either yes or no, right? Showing the time card, and it's required. We saw where that was established in the settings. Here we have the field name for the class, right? So you can edit this. And here you can actually edit your option, options, but it even says here, the field was imported from QuickBooks, please edit it in QuickBooks. Uh, then in T-Sheets at the top right, quick, click, click QuickBooks and then import, right? Uh, payroll items again, and here's your service item. So we can edit this. Now this one is important because this one, you'll want to choose whether or not they see it. You might have items in QuickBooks that you don't necessarily want them seeing uh, when they're tracking time. There may be things that you use for billing purposes, for example, that you would never want them to see. So over here, you can choose to archive an item that's not going to have any impact on what's going on in QuickBooks. It's just going to mean that it's not visible to uh, users who are trying to uh, clock in and track their time, right? So. Um, that's basically what this is all about. So like these things, these are products that I sell. I would never want somebody clocking time in for this so I can archive it. And it just lets me know uh, items archived in T-Sheets won't buy, be archived in QuickBooks. Please archive items in QuickBooks then in T-Sheets, you know, quick. But in this case, that's exactly what I'd want. I'd want it archived here and not in QuickBooks, right? So that is really important. Um, over here, again, you could import or export items, but again, since we're syncing this with QuickBooks, you probably don't want to um, do that. Notice here, I've already got 110 items that are archived and only 37 that are active here. So that's where you go in the advanced tracking to access this stuff. Um, and that, so that really covers your jobs, your tasks, your employees, uh, everything. Of course, employees you can manage when you go here to employees and groups. And here, for somebody to show up as an employer or group, you have to have a first and last name in a vendor profile in QuickBooks in order for them to show up here as somebody who can be established as a T-Sheets user who can track time. Um, and so if you're in QuickBooks or QuickBooks Online and they're not showing up here, one trick I learned recently is just change something. If, all the, if they have a first and last name in there and for some reason they're not showing up, change something. Change one thing and then resync. And by resync, I mean, you know, choose the uh, option here, QuickBooks and import and they'll probably show up. Um, so normally they should just show up, but in case you're having that problem, that's one uh, quick way to fix it. And then of course, if you still have trouble, use the live chat here, it's awesome. Uh, and they have the live chat now. One thing I noticed is I'm usually looking on the bottom right for that, I almost missed this. So it is on the left here, the live chat, which kind of makes sense because this way it's out of the way of all your little boxes and things here.
Okay, so that's where you go to uh, manage the employees. And of course, here you can establish employee groups. So I can have kind of like I had, uh, you know, uh, last time around, um, I can create my executive group and my subcontractors group and whatever I might need to describe different groupings of employees. Um, what else can we talk about? Let's talk about scheduling. So scheduling T-Sheets has, but one thing that's important to note is before you'll see it here under manage, you'll need to go to add-ons and you'll need to install it. Now installing it doesn't really like install a program per se. It basically just means you're telling T-Sheets, hey, I want to use this, right? There it is. So you would install it. Once you do that, it's going to show up here. And uh, again, real simple, real straightforward. We're going to go to actions. We're going to add a shift. We can save a week as a template because you may have a lot of weeks where the same people are doing the same things week in and week out. So that's a time saver for sure. Or you can just copy the previous week and you can subscribe to this calendar, meaning if somebody else goes in and changes the schedule, you'll be notified about it when they do. Uh, adding a shift again, real, real easy to do, right? So you, you click to add the shift, you establish the date, the starting and ending time, which employees are involved in this, right? I can add more than one employee to the same shift. Uh, which customer are they going to be working on? And of course, the location, right? If you've got one, I don't. You can write notes. And then we also have the recurrence option. So I can say repeat this daily every day with an end date of a week from now, whatever it needs to be, right? So scheduling, great uh, application here, real uh, easy to use. I'm going to discard that. Uh, what else can we do here? We can set up some scheduled preferences. And over here, again, pretty straightforward stuff. Employees can see schedule for everyone in the group or just themselves. What can managers do? And here, from here, we can also uninstall the whole scheduler scheduler application part of T-Sheets. Uh, I already mentioned it, already showed it to you. We do have a live chat, uh, which is awesome. I was able to get live chat help on a Sunday, no less, from T-Sheets, uh, which I was really impressed with, and the help was great. I got the answer to my question, and I got it quickly, and that's what I love, because I don't know about you, but when I'm using an application like this and I'm stuck on something, I need answers quickly. I need to get them quickly. I need to move on. Again, I don't want to have to spend time uh, searching through a knowledge base. There is a knowledge base in case you need that or in case it's helpful or in case the chat's down or who knows. But uh, I'm always going to go to the chat first because that's where I can get a live person who knows exactly where to go to get the answers I need. So uh, support world class from T-Sheets. Uh, if you, even if you don't use the live chat and you reach out to their customer support or call them up, uh, they're just amazing. They'll help you. They'll get you the answers you need so you can get moving forward with your company, whatever it is that you need to be doing that I'm sure is more important to you than solving problems with a time tracking application. So that, my friends, is everything pretty much that I can tell you about T-Sheets for now. I could tell you a lot more, but it would take an hour or more um, and we could really dive deep into this. But I'll leave that to the folks at T-Sheets to do with you. Uh, if and when you've chosen to sign up for T-Sheets. So, as always, I hope that you had some fun and learned something along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.